coming up on the Buckeye Guard. Infantry soldiers maintain combat readiness. The State Combatives Tournament tests hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. And the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame inducts 20 Ohio veterans. My name is Staff Sergeant Jason Warren and we're at Elmendorf, Alaska. We as vehicle maintainers uh, keep all of the base vehicles up and running. We keep all of that equipment uh, safe and serviceable and ready to use. My favorite part of the job would definitely be the satisfaction after you fix something and you go out, test it, and it works. My primary role on this trip is to get as much training as possible. You never know when we'll be called up. If we need to go somewhere and support a mission somewhere, uh, we need to be able to fix this equipment. Uh, some of this equipment we don't have at our base, so without this training, we would not know how to fix this equipment. Uh, it just it makes us more ready and able to support the mission. Infantry maneuver companies are the sharp edge of the spear, forces trained to high levels of readiness and lethality. The Ohio National Guard fielded several of its infantry companies this summer, honing the cutting edge of its combat power. So we're at Camp Atterbury this, uh, this AT period. We're out here with uh, 1st Battalion Alpha Company, 1st 148th Infantry out of Walbridge, Ohio. The training purpose is we've come out here to Camp Atterbury. There's a lot of overgrown area um, and the weather is not the best, but those are the sorting training environments that we're looking for. Alpha Company was joined by Bravo and Charlie Companies as the regiment conducted squad and platoon level field training exercises. The hot and wet conditions serving as a forge for the company, strengthening their bonds. Conducting squad operations gave everyone a chance to work closely together. Having that opportunity to get rained on and get muddy and dirty and hungry uh, with other guys definitely just kind of forcibly brings you closer. Sam, Echo, Juliet. I, I don't know what it is with our soldiers, but the morale after such a grueling and challenging event was just absolutely astronomical, and I do appreciate their efforts. Complex mission orders that frequently changed, and Atterbury's difficult, densely wooded terrain created an especially challenging training opportunity for the reconnaissance patrolling. The one thing we don't ever know is what we're going to get into when we actually have to fight. You know, our mission is to close with and destroy the enemy, but we can't close with them if we don't know where they are and if we don't know how they're composed and what we're going to be up against. So uh, a lot of our training was designed to put an emphasis on the communications aspects of what we do to ensure that everybody's in synchronization when, uh, when assigned a mission. More than 65 fighters from across the Ohio National Guard competed in this year's combatives tournament to see who's the best. Well, combatives uh, is important to the U.S. military mostly because it, it gives the skills in order to have the self-confidence as soldiers. You know, I'm going to have some tough situations in my life, but that's okay. I've been in tough situations, and I can get through them. Last year, I got silver in lightweight, and this year, lost my first round by points, won my second one by submission uh, with an arm bar, and lost my third one by points as well. Even just getting that one submission that I got, it made it worth it. As long as you try your best and you really just go out there and give it your all, then I don't see why everyone doesn't do this. Everything in this is definitely jujitsu. Like, it always ends up on the ground. Most people don't stay there and strike with you. It always ends up on the ground. You won't always have a weapon in dangerous situations, and when it does get to that point, I think you should know what you're doing and how to close the distance and how to finish a fight. In this game of chess, each fighter is looking to close the gap and win. It allows them to represent their unit, feel the emotion get higher, and, and as groups of soldiers from the same unit start rooting for their, their guy or their girl, it's just a great workout. And, uh, and so they're stronger, faster, and in better shape. No matter how each of these fighters placed in their brackets, 
they all left with a sense of pride and confidence in their abilities. The Ohio Department of Veterans Services honored 20 Ohio veterans with an induction into the Ohio Veterans Hall of Fame. The selection committee chose based on post-military achievements, recognizing those who continued service to their communities. Those veterans that come back after their military service and continue to give to their community, to their state, and to their nation, it's important to expose that and show that veterans aren't just military members, that they continue to give because they inspire others in the organization. They set a tone for service and giving back beyond just being in the military. It's important to expose that and let everybody in the state see what happens. I got nominated for doing what I love doing. And, uh, and I, you know, the, the second half of my life since I've retired has been even richer than the first part. I mean, I, I don't know what the people that I'm working with, that, that I'm mentoring and so forth, I can't measure what they get out of it. But if it's half as much as what I get out of it, I've done a good job. After I, the military, um, I was a member of the Shelby County Sheriff's Office for 28 years. Uh, my feeling was that um, I needed to give back to the community that took care of me for so many years. So this just became a second nature, uh, the helping others in the community. You have earned the right to call yourself a veteran, put it to good use. MILVET sponsored the Columbus Veterans Day Parade to honor the service of veterans and to salute those currently serving in the military. In the state of Ohio, our Guard members are at law enforcement agencies doing criminal analysis, uh, as well as civil operators who support community-based organizations across the state. We have about 40 folks participating in these activities. The majority of them are doing criminal analysis with law enforcement, and those are the folks that we're going to see and talk about today. We have people sitting at federal, state, and local throughout the state, so you have that network you can build on. Um, I think the rest just goes to the initiative that's driven into us the ability again to work with what we got and to kind of not be afraid to reach out, reach across, reach up, reach down, whatever we got to do to accomplish the mission. I think the most important thing to know about our program is that this fight in Ohio, the fight on drugs, it can be a war zone and it, we kind of look at it that way and the National Guard is able to provide analysts and personnel to fight this fight. We have some extremely energetic, some innovative, some free thinking and outside of the box folks that are truly able to go into an agency with no agenda and provide support that wasn't there before, provide ideas that maybe weren't there before, provide an education background, um, skill sets that, that maybe they gained in the military or maybe they gained in their education. But they're bringing these skills to these agencies to fight a fight for Ohio and to help the citizens of Ohio and to help save lives. The Ohio State University recognized members of the Ohio National Guard as part of its annual Military Appreciation Game.
more about the Ohio National Guard, go to ong.ohio.gov or follow us on Facebook and Twitter.